Elaborating a bit further on this most recent No Prep Kings event, the one that took place out in Arizona at the Trax Wild Horse Motorsports Pass, Motorsports Park in Phoenix, Arizona, or whatever the heck the name of that place was. I heard from you guys, shout out Tony Schumacher, Kevin Ellen, all of you other guys in the chat. You were saying that the attendance of that event was 20%. 20% of fans were in attendance compared to 100% would be full capacity. They only had 20% of fans there. Like, is this the worst no prep Kings race on record? Is it like, has there ever been an event that bad? And I know you can make the argument that, well, they did just announce this event about a month ago, which is understandable. Like you look at all of the other races, how they're um, announced. It's when the season is for, or the schedule is first announced. So people are able to buy tickets way in advance. And they're promoting those events and those tickets up until literally the day before the event actually takes place. So you could very well make that argument. But 20%? Like, I really think that this race was a real eye-opener for Street Outlaws because as we've discussed a lot here, Street Outlaws is kind of in a position now to where no prep kings is their main goal and their main objective. And it seems like they feel they can do whatever they want with no prep kings. We look at how this race was just announced. They had... Season 6 of No Prep Kings still going on, and they just announced this extra event out of nowhere and portrayed it as being a completely normal No Prep Kings event and just expected fans to buy tickets and go and attend to this race. At first, I thought that it was like, are they adding this on to Season 6? No, turns out they weren't. This was a completely different race. I was qualifying for Season number 7. We already discussed that. I don't even need to elaborate on the how crazy that is on its own, but... They announced this event out, event out of nowhere, didn't tell fans what it was, and then per a lot of you guys in the chat, Tony Schumacher, shout out to you once again, all of you guys were saying that a lot of, like, you bought your tickets for this, and then it was changed to that just before the event actually took place, and so a lot of people got refunded their money for the tickets because they were lied to. They were told something was going to be there, and then the other, turns out it wasn't going to be available or wasn't going to be there. Like, this whole event was just... It seems like a disaster. Not even all the big name drivers and everything were there. And everything about it just seems kind of bad. And again, like, I don't want to sound like I'm hating on No Prep Kings and Street Outlaws as a whole. But I just want to say, like, I think... Because, like, I'm on the side of you guys. Like, I want the fans to have the best experience possible. And it seems like, for the most part, from No Prep Kings, a lot of fans do have great experiences going to do these events. And for the fans that were at this event, it seems like they did have a good experience because they were able to have an easier time getting in contact and meeting a lot of the, their favorite drivers that were there. Although the thing is, not all of their favorite drivers were even there in the first place. Many people probably bought tickets thinking this was a normal season six No Prep Kings event, not even knowing it was a qualifying event for season number seven. And also, too, only 20% of people were there. We got to get the stat guy on this. Is this the worst attendance, re or worst attendance for any Street Outlaws No Prep Kings event? 20% that's just absolutely absurd and if I'm being completely honest I think this event as a whole is going to be a real eye opener for the whole street outlaws and no prep kings scene like the people that put this the producers and the people that put this stuff on and make them realize that like they can't just go out and do whatever they want on a whim because only 20% of people showed up